of the Larry Nassar case, the question has been asked repeatedly. Why was it more done to protect young athletes or take the enablers of Nassar to task? Now similar questions are being directed at another successful Olympic sports organization, USA Swimming, as well as the U.S. Olympic Committee. According to Scott Reed of the Orange County Register, leaders of USA Swimming, including longtime executive director Chuck Wilgus, were aware of and in some cases accepted sexual abuse of underage swimmers by coaches and officials, calling the abuse in swimming commonplace. The numbers are staggering. According to the OC Register, since 1997, when USA Swimming was run by Wilgus until his death last April, at least 252 swim coaches and officials have been arrested, charged by prosecutors, or disciplined by USA Swimming for misconduct against kids under 18. The total number of alleged victims at the hands of these coaches and officials, 590. Some of these kids abused while attending preschool swim classes. Now, some officials flagged for alleged sex crimes were not disciplined, and many weren't banned. The questions over the handling of these cases also extended to the USOC and their CEO, Scott Blackman. In 2017, attorneys for 15 accusers demanded the firing of Wilgus. It's debatable whether USOC could have fired him, but no action was taken before Wilgus' death. And worse yet, speaking of the people who were flagged, that isn't made available to the public, making you wonder how parents would know if their kid's coach was actually flagged. Now, neither the USOC nor USA Swimming has responded to our request for comment on this story. Joining us now, Nancy Hogshead, Hogshead Maker, three-time Olympic gold medal winning swimmer, also uh, founder of Champion Women, an advocacy group for girls and women in sports, and also a civil rights attorney. Nancy, so good to have you with us. Okay, you have been pressing for quite some time that action be taken um, by USA Swimming, by the USOC. Right. Recently, the request to have uh, the head of USA Swimming fired, what was their reaction, both USA Swimming and USOC to that? The USOC, Scott Blackman, lauded Chuck Wilgus, who was the head of United States Swimming, uh, for his, how he had dealt with sexual abuse. So, so lauded he, he when you said he should be fired. Right, exactly, yeah. We said that his behavior was just as bad, if not worse, than what Steve Penny's had. And, you know, the fish rots from the head, and Chuck, um, Scott Blackman, the head of the Olympic Committee, is the one who, who they, they fostered a, uh, a legal interpretation of the Sports Act, which governs all Olympic sports, that the Olympic Committee and, Nash, and their national governing bodies can't really do anything about uh, uh, sexual abuse. That really, that that's a club issue, that it's a, right? So very recently, within the last, say, week, we, uh, we got a statute passed that the President of the United States signed that actually changes that part of the Sports Act that mm -hmm. says that, in fact, the Olympic Committee is responsible for sexual abuse. And so they do have to do proactive things for it. Now, I mean, th th what we're seeing right now is predictable. This is what Scott Blackman wanted, is he wanted um, athletes didn't have a way to be able to get remedies when they were having, when they were getting abused in something within their national governing body mm -hmm. or any kind of dispute. They couldn't go to uh, the athlete ombudsman. They, he pulled them in so they, they represented the institution rather than the athlete. So he's setting it up so that it's AAC. harder, so just, sorry, just to jump in, he's setting it up yeah. so that it's harder for athletes to bring claims, but also the protective aspect of this. I mean, you're talking about hundreds of young people being abused why wasn't there a sense yes. of let's report this to police, let's hold coaches accountable, and let's tell parents exactly what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Because what they were doing is they were, the Olympic Committee used a rule, it's called the no duty rule, and for all lawyers out there, which mm -hmm. means it's just what, what their legal position is, it's not our job. We don't do that. We you don't, don't have handle to sexual do abuse. Correct, right. And so because it's hard for people to wrap their heads around this crazy idea that that, um, that they literally didn't want to send out educational materials because then a legal duty would attach. So they saved money in civil liability, but at what cost? At the cost of thousands upon thousands of children being molested and having the Olympic movement become a haven for pedophiles. It is mind-boggling just to think about this, and this is only the beginning in terms of what's starting to come out. Let me ask you this. What can happen right now to change this, to make it so that young people are protected in the sport of swimming? 
So again, so a new statute just passed. Mm -hmm. The short name is the Safe Sport Act. It was started by Senator Feinstein, and as I said, it just went into effect. So right now, everybody within the Olympic movement and all uh, sports organizations where there's interstate competition, mm -hmm. which would be like the AAU, YMCA, et cetera, they are mandatory reporters. Believe it or not, before now, they were not. Number two is, um, is it is the all of the sport governing bodies it is their job to handle sexual abuse they do in fact have to do something about it third is they, they set up a new entity that investigates and sanctions sexually abusing coaches and it's called the United States Center for Safe Sport so it does not have a statute of limitations and one of the main problems is is that we know for all childhood sexual abuse that it's unlikely that a kid comes forward at the time. I mean, it's horrifying for me as a parent to think the it research is, shows that kids just don't. It is so, so hard. There, there's no statute of limitations. Call the oh. U.S. Center for Safe Sport. Okay. And, uh, I'm sorry and, um, we have to leave it there. But, but I appreciate okay. that. I'm sorry we have to leave it there. But important message, and hopefully people are calling and using these resources. Thank you, Nancy. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. All right, coming up, Fergie keeps it real.